Let's start our flow by inhale and exhale as you inhale raise your arms as you exhale bring your palms in front of your chest joining your elbows let's do this two more time inhale as you exhale release one last inhale and exhale join your elbows bring your palms in front of your chest in namaskar mudra be there for a moment slowly lift your body go to tabletop position and do our cat and cow as you inhale drop your belly chin pointing up to the ceiling and as you exhale round your back chin to chest let's repeat this few more time cat and cow is the most trusted way to start your practice the best way to energize your body warm your body and give that spine some more movements from here let's make one big circle and from the other side slowly extend your arm drop your chest on the floor let's go to puppy pose let's be here for a moment keep breathing chin on the floor slowly get up and drop your elbows and go to sphinx pose look up chin pointing up to the ceiling slowly as you exhale forehead to your palm on the floor be there for a moment slowly bring your palms beside your chest as you inhale lift your upper body up go to cobra and slowly as you exhale turn to one side inhale center exhale turn to the other side inhale center as you exhale push yourself up to the downward facing dog Adjust yourself, push your body in between your shoulders and as you inhale, lift your right leg high up, go to three-legged downward facing dog and as you exhale, bend it and bring it in between, place it on the floor, lock your right foot on your left wrist and go to pigeon pose. You can extend your arm and slowly bend forward, rest your forehead on the floor or stretch your arm and feel the stretch from the tip of your fingers till the base of your spine now slowly lift your body as you exhale move to one side walk to one side feel the stretch in this opposite side of your body inhale to the center as you exhale go to the other side inhale center stretch your body as you exhale push your body up again to three-legged downward facing dog slowly fold that same leg and bring it between your palms. palms chin facing up to the ceiling feel the stretch now slowly sit in the back leg fold the leg sit on your heel and completely forward fold forehead to your knee slowly lift your body up you can extend your back leg a little back and front leg and go to side split or hanuman asan you can either lift your arms or just keep it resting on the floor slowly drag yourself back and tuck your left toe and go to three-legged downward facing dog now slowly bend it and place it on the outside of your left leg doing a side plank go to the center release go to downward facing dog pedal for a few times adjust your body let's do the same for the other side inhale left leg high up let's go to pigeon tuck your left leg on your right wrist inhale look up as you exhale bow down forward fold completely inhale stretch your arm spread your arm make namaste bring it in front of your chest and place it on the floor and place your head on your palms slowly extend your arms feel the stretch inhale gaze up exhale bend to one side inhale center bend walk to the other side feel the stretch in the sides of your body inhale center slowly push yourself up back to the downward facing dog slowly fold the same leg bring it between your palms and stretch go to low lunge stretch your neck chin pointing to the ceiling and sit back on your 
heel of your right leg forward fold completely forehead to your knee feel the stretch in your hamstrings slowly push your front leg to the front back leg to the back if you can you can release your palm make it namaste over your head if you cannot just keep it on the floor slowly push your body up adjust slow and steadily come back to the center slowly tuck your right leg and go to three legged downward facing dog bend that leg left leg place it on the outside of your right side and go to side plank slowly come to three legged downward facing dog release and go to downward facing dog pedal your legs relax for a moment now slowly bring your right hand and hold your left ankle twist twist it down with facing dog center and go to the other side left hand to the right ankle and slowly jump forward to malasana so this is basically two twisted downward facing dog jumping forward to malasana let's do this again one more time jump back to downward facing dog from here bring your right arm to your left ankle go to the center left arm to your right ankle twist it and slowly after you are done on the both side jump forward and sit in the center in malasana leg wide open elbows pushing your inner thigh slowly release your palm and get up straighten your leg and then rock forward and backward lift your heel and toes turn by turn feel the stretch in your hamstrings prepare your body hang in there let's bring our breathing pattern to normal lock your elbows hold your elbows and rock side to side and slowly as you inhale let's sit up in chair pose exhale bring your palm in front of your chest in namaskar mudra inhale raise your palms again exhale inhale and as you exhale bring your palms and let's twist lock your right elbow on the outside of your left knee and twist inhale center lock your left elbow on the outside of your right knee and twist inhale center raise your arm exhale slowly release straighten your leg feel the burn in your legs rock it one more time slowly lift your left leg shifting all the weights only in your right leg and balance slowly bend and bring it in the center time for your right leg slowly lift your right leg if you cannot straighten your leg don't worry you can keep your legs bent a little while you are doing forward folds now slowly let's rock for a few times forward and backward and slowly drag your left leg to the back and let's sit in goddess pose release your palm slowly and let's go to wide legged stretch keep your legs as wide as you can and stretch your leg inhale look up keep your hands on your waist and go down as you exhale try to touch the floor by the crown of your head now inhale look up exhale interlock your fingers and fold forward if you cannot you can just place your palm on the floor and do it in subtle way now for the ones who can hold your big toe and forward fold slowly get up as you inhale half way there and as you exhale sit in one side either right or left i am sitting on my right leg slowly get up sit on your left side make sure your heel is firmly placed on the floor it's not you are not lifting your heels and feel the stretch in your leg slowly get up go to goddess again and add that little twist side to side one side at a time slowly release we are almost towards the end let's try to sit go as down as you can as much as you can and sit as you inhale raise your arm as you exhale join your elbows together bring your palms in front of your chest in namaskar mudra let's inhale and exhale for three times and one last time take a long deep breath in and as you exhale walk your arms forward go towards the 
the floor, be wherever you are, do not force yourself, listen to your body. We are almost towards the end of our practice. Slowly prepare yourself to lie down on your mat. Let's do some of the back bends just for the counterbalance. If you can do full bridge like this, you can do it or else you can just lift your hip with the support of your hand. Slowly, after we are done with bridge, we will be resting in Savasana, which is a must because you wouldn't want to end your day being tired and exhausted. Have a wonderful practice.